Hello! Hello, Jeff! <laughs> Hello, Scott. How are you? Absolutely marvellous, thank you, Sarah. This so is, nice to see you. Yeah, this is Jeff, uh, also known as Meteorite Man, Space Rock Man, Action Scientist. I'm afraid so. Man, was it? So your show was Meteorite Man? And then STEM Journals. And that wasn't a sequel to Meteorite Man. No, it wasn't a sequel. It was a multi STEM Journals was a multidisciplinary uh -huh. science okay. show that we did for Cox Media that tackled astronomy, archaeology, biomechanics, engineering. We won two Emmys for STEM Journals, wow. which was uh, a wonderful thing for my crew who worked so hard to make the show happen. And as you know, educational television rarely gets recognized in the awards. Sadly. Yeah, but we're changing that. And latest project is Meteorite Hunters Unlimited, which reunites my very charismatic and somewhat lunatic co-host Steve Arnold with Meteorite Men and myself and we are hitting the road for bigger, better and louder adventures. So Meteorite Men does sound like a superhero thing, so what Thank would you. be your origin That's story? Time. My origin story is when I was a, was a very young boy, a meteorite landed extremely close to me and the amazing energy field that it, that it transmitted yeah. was absorbed into my body, giving me powers that allow me to see rocks buried underground and wow. also sometimes you know change bad students into good ones by little you know subject them yeah. to your stem beam exactly. a stem beam the stem beam that is what we're gonna that's have what to we want with. yes we zap work, people and yeah man you see i should write this stuff yeah you probably really should we should yeah. we should you know what we should do is a short video segment together when we're at uh, some space sort yeah. of thing yeah we should go to a space thing in california oh and, and do like a, do a youtube video. oh what's this the most amazing coincidence. Good lord, it's the Novato Space Festival with space people and astronauts and minor celebrities and you. Yeah, I don't Where really... do you fit in that hierarchy? I like the minor part. Oh, yeah, no, no. That's... Asteroid minor. Asteroid minor, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I fit in the in the professional full time nerd geek space. Band. Wow! I wish I could be a full time. You are. What are you kidding? Well, I, I get a day job. Well, it's, yeah. it's a very geeky day job. <laughs> it's a very a good geeky day job. Sure. So just over here on our right is the wonderful space station museum, which is a fantastic collection of flown space hardware from the collection of the director, Ken Winans. And behind this is the annual space festival. We've got four astronauts here, meteorite exhibit, all kinds of book signings and exciting things going on. Robots. The kids love the robots. And the, the yeah, space man here is very popular. Yes. Although he's very static. He's, his arm must be really tired after yeah. holding it out like that. Uh, so what's been the highlight for you so far? Oh so far? man, I actually really loved looking at the Russian control panels. but. <laughs> That, that, that for me has been pretty darn cool and... It's interesting you say this because one of my projects here is to return this to Soviet space program. <laughs> where you are typical of your capitalists. You see something, you say, I like for a museum and you take. We come to uh, repatriate, as you say, back, back to Novosibirsk. Well, that's an excellent uh, Russian accent. Better than Sean Connery. Especially. Sean. Especially. <laughs> well, I have had a lot of practice. <laughs> Usually it's Scotsmen that play the Russians in movies, but uh, you're pretty... Well, we like to shake things up a bit, you know, I'm from southern England, sort of yeah. the same part of the world. Yeah, mostly, but... It's, you know, not, not as colourful as that. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is Russian. Aye. Aye, aye. Well, yeah, we've had an awesome... As we, had an awesome time here so far. We got a lot going on. And one, one of the things that excites me at events like this is you see people of all ages. So we've, we've had very young kids who are very wide-eyed, meeting the astronauts and seeing the space rocks, and and, and people at, at the other end of the age scale, retirees, still very fascinated yeah. at the and, chance to engage with people who've been into space and garbage that's fallen out of yeah. space yeah. onto our planet. So I can collect it. In fact, several of the retirees I thought were random people, and they're like, "No, I actually worked on the Apollo program. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I developed built the booster." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh, hi! It Here's is, me explaining things to you, you know? It's amazing the people that you meet, and I've had a, a, a few uh, elderly people come up and they kind of go, oh, what is that? And I'll start explaining kind of very basics of meteorites, and they go, oh, I thought that was an example of a carbonaceous chondrite. Right. You seem like, in fact, completely undifferentiated chondrules, and I go, wow, yeah. I know more about the subject than I do. Guilty as charged. <laughs> no. Oh, yes, you're a candidate for that. But I expect that sort of knowledge from you. Yeah, well. <laughs> So what's, what's next for you? What's on the calendar? I'm just going to be playing more Internet and Asteroid. I'm going to be doing a whole lot more science videos because we had some great feedback on the Falcon disaster, you know, the Falcon failure, the, um, the Kepler mission. So we're going to continue that out, become a regular thing, I think. They've been getting great traction and people have been learning stuff, which is awesome. That's Wonderful. the best thing. 
busy, busy. Busy, busy. We've got exciting stuff going on. And you have. Uh, so, Meteorite Hunters, so Unlimited. Meteorite Hunters Unlimited, we filmed the first episode and uh, there's a lot of it's network in interest. The can, it's in the can, as we say in the biz. So we're looking for a good home for the new show. In uh, in September, I'm doing a fantastic event in Tucson at the Fox Theater with Dante Loretta, who's the principal investigator of the Osiris-Rex mission. We're doing an arts and science hybrid at this beautiful theater. Uh, November, I go to Switzerland for a TEDx talk. I just shot a segment for an amazing science documentary called The Connected Universe which is the brainchild of a, of a brilliant Canadian writer-producer, Malcolm Carter, and we hope that'll be in, in theaters for the end of the year. And so, yeah, busy, busy. busy Science, busy. space rock, space flight, doing some work with the National Space Society and the Board of Governors, and one of, one, of my, one of my mission objectives is to get out and spread enthusiasm for manned space operations. Space flight, which of course we are joyously seeing again in our life. It is so fabulous. I can't wait for a US launcher Great. and then people on top again. We're we're at an exciting we're at an exciting juncture. It's like a nexus of events uh, where things can go nexus. in many directions. You a nexus, huh? I, I design your eyes. I, <laughs> I love that <laughs> movie. Sorry, a little Blade Runner Blade reference Runner, there yeah. for you, sci-fi nerds. Would you believe that nerds <laughs> <laughs> Not that we have a lot in common or anything. <laughs> Well, thank you, Jeff. It's you have all, been amazing. It's a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Keep up the great work. I know. <laughs> Cheers. Fly safe.